This video covers the process of installing the Envision Manager server and creating a database. Before installing, it is essential to acknowledge hardware and software requirements. Here is a list of the key requirements which must be followed for successful installation and usage. In the install package, there are two application files. Firstly, a prerequisite file has to be run which installs the following components if they are not already present on the server machine. The prerequisite file must be run as administrator. Once this file has run successfully, the Envision Suite file can be selected. It is essential that Run as Administrator is also chosen for this file. After accepting the license agreement, we are now given the choice of which programs to install. The key install here is the Envision Manager server, which is chosen by default. The OPC server can be chosen if it is applicable to the project. Under the Client Setup repository, if the client is also required on this server machine, leave the box ticked. Refer to the dedicated videos on both the Envision Manager client and switch for more information. The other key application handled here is Envision Project, which will be installed or upgraded as part of the install. All sites managed with Envision Manager will be using Envision Project for their commissioning process. Once the install is complete, click on Finish. All the components can be found under the Philips Dynalite folder in the Start menu. For ease of use, it would be recommended to organise shortcuts or pin applications to your taskbar. The next stage is to open the Envision Manager configuration tool and organise the license for the server. If the license file is required, click on Request Licence and enter relevant site name and job number information. Once the license is handy, choose Apply Licence and point to the license file which will need to be stored on the server machine. We will now cover the two methods of setting up an Envision Manager database and linking to the relevant Envision project file. Both methods are accessed through the Run Quick Start option. Method 1 involves starting from an Envision Manager database. Choose the radio button and click Next. The server instance created by default is EM Server. At this point, the configuration database is being set, so it is important to name it appropriately. We have chosen EM Server Configuration DB. Click Next. The next page allows the license procedure to be completed if it wasn't done from the main window. We next define the site owner. Click on Choose and pick the relevant user. Once chosen, the reference on the screen to guest users and normal users refers to user roles. View the video on adding and managing users for more information. The next page requires settings on location and time zone. This must be done correctly to align with any time-based settings defined for the project. The final page lists the actions to be executed. Click on Execute. Once the actions have been completed, Finish is selectable. Click on Finish. By starting with database creation, it means that once the Envision project commissioning file is complete and the project is ready to use Envision Manager, then the project file will need to be saved to the database. In Envision Project, we have created a training project. From the File menu, choose Save As and then Save to Database. Then select our EM server and the relevant database name.
We will now return to the Quick Start menu in the Configuration tool to look at Method 2, our second database creation option. This time we start from an Envision project file. Instead of opening EP, we click on Next and select the relevant project file. Then we must create our new database name, as we already created one for our last example. The next few pages then follow the same rules as method 1, selecting our site user, our location time zone details and the actions to execute. Clicking on finish and returning to the main screen, we can see our updated job name and database names. That concludes the video on installing the server and creating a database. It is now recommended that you view the content on site settings and managing databases.